On good TV. I've done a lot of research for this one, fellas. No, not really, but... You know, I'm trying to figure out. What is the source of black women's insecurity with black men in regards to who I keep hearing them say black men prefer? Black men's preference. You know, Cynthia G has that slogan, who they really choose, where she, you know, rants about black men's preference, she says, and how that preference is in black women. Hold up. Stop. Fellas, look at some of these guys in these relationships and look at some of these girls. Some of these guys, no black woman wanted them. No black woman was interested in them. Only wanted to use them for money, get what they could from them. And when they didn't have shit, they treated them like shit. Let's just be serious here. All right? All right, back to the situation. And like you guys, I do know that even after a large segment of black women over the last 50 years have rejected patriarchy for matriarchy, became feminists, and said they hate black men, that those of us that do marry black women, like myself, marry black women by 86%. 86%. So if eight and a half out of every 10 black men that marry, marry black women, what is the issue? Statistics would show that our preference is black women. All races prefer their own. So the issue is that only 27% of y'all are actually getting married, right? Yeah, only 26, 27% of y'all are getting married. Just under 3 out of 10. Well, ladies, that's because white supremacy, which you support in its many iterations, look it up, <laughs> has made your black men economically challenged. And guess what? You have stated clearly to everyone that you don't want no broke, dusty, economically challenged Negro that got to go 50-50. So black men can't approach you for marriage. It ain't about love no more. It ain't, hey, I make 50,000. You make 80, but you know what it is. We put it together. We good. You know, I love you. No, 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 no. You're not going to settle for a man that makes less than you, in your own words, right? But then we'll meet white women or Spanish women or Indian women, whatever, who don't care about how much we make. They like to go on dates where you pack sandwiches and get a $10 bottle of wine and sit in a park. You know, the same type of shit you accept when you get with a white man. So it's not always preference. Sometimes it's just who accepts you. You know, like y'all say, go where you're celebrated. Not, go ahead, not, not, go ahead, not. Tolerated, right, 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 right. Go where you're celebrated and not tolerated. Exactly. So that's what you see a lot of black men doing. I mean, it's the only choice you've given us. But we know it's because of high 
Pergamy that if that 14% of black men that marry out, which are the athletes and the entertainers, if these athletes and entertainers weren't rich and famous and were regular guys like you and I, do you think that they would give a rat's ass on what their preferences were? No, they wouldn't. Only when there's the black man's riches and resources at stake and they want to attach themselves to a rich athlete or entertainer, not a regular degular guy, like I said, like you or I. Is the only time they're worried about his preference. So hypergamy has them mad at those rich, upwardly mobile black men that are dating and marrying out. And so-called white women, Spanish women, all these foreign women are so-called Vanessa Bryan and the legacies in the generational wealth. Got chicks out here praying for helicopter crashes now. Talk about preference. And like I said, this is after 50 years of black women saying that black men ain't shit and y'all don't need us. For some reason, you black women tend to think that a nasty, strong and independent entitled attitude and a belief and a God the color of your ex-slave master makes you attractive and desirable to black men but it doesn't yeah if you black women think your attitude and the way you carry yourself is attractive and desirable you are highly mistaken. But <clears throat> now that we really know what has driven black women mad with insecurity about who black men prefer, I want you guys to acknowledge who has put the black women's insecurities on hyperdrive about the preferences of black men. I know who the culprit is. This woman here is the source of today's modern day black woman's insecurities. Kim Kardashian. Yes, fellas. Kim Kardashian is the reason black women's insecurities about who black men prefer are in hyperdrive. Kim K. And the track record of black men she has run through leading up to Kanye, who is a billionaire, something that none of them will ever get, drives them mad. Black women are basing all of black men's preferences off of what the entertainers and the athletes do. And a good example of that is Kanye West. They're basing black men's dating preferences off of Kanye West's dating preferences. Even though 86% of us are with black women, 
in spite of their infatuation of a love for a white god made in the image of our former slave master even though we grin and bear it as she supports the indoctrination of our children into that false spiritual system called Christianity we still at an 86% clip marry black women but where their focus is is what the 14% is doing yeah 86% of y'all with us but where's Where's the other 14%? Why are they over there with them white women? Why are they over there with them Spanish women? Those are niggas we want. They the ones with the money. And nobody wants y'all broke ass niggas. And then we be like, wow, but we, we still here. We black. We family. We work hard. We work. Shut up, nigga. Y'all niggas broke. Get the fuck out of here. Then we go ahead and just go on down the street, mind our business, sit around, lick our wounds, right? And then, you know, some little perky, happy Spanish girl talk to us and, and laugh and, and, and access our name and then we exchange phone numbers and the next thing you know what we got self-hate right <laughs> <laughs> yeah we got self-hate ain't that some shit ain't that some shit we done got rejected And while we out here, somebody to show some interest in us. And by getting into a relationship where we're accepted and celebrated, when the black woman go out there and find out the grass ain't green on the other side, then she come back just to call us self-haters. Ain't that some shit? Kim fucking Kardashian. This shit was started by Ray J, the best R&B singer and performer of all time, better than Michael Jackson and Chris Brown and Prince and James Brown. Ray J, the best that ever did it. And fucking Kanye. And these are men, don't let black women fool you. These are men that black women want. Black women want and love them some Ray J. How couldn't you look at him? The most handsome man on earth. And like I said before, if I didn't say it before, I'll say it again. The best R&B singer, dancer, musician ever, all time in the world of music. <laughs> I had it first. Get it, Ray J. <laughs> this whole kerfuckle was started by fucking Ray J. <clears throat> and you know, what I'm going to do with Ray J, though, is I got to give Ray J the benefit of the doubt. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm, out of all the niggas that, that chase Kim down, I'm not going to label that on Ray J. Ray J was the first one there. All of them niggas went after Ray J sloppy seconds. He had it first. Yeah, so 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 I'm not going to get on Ray J. Ray J hit it and quit it. Ray J knew what it was. He didn't know they was going to leak the tape. That was her mother and her. He did his thing, hit it, got up out of there. But it was all the mother niggas after that that saw that. Oh, I got to have Kim K too. So when they saw a game, get with her, when they, yeah, they, 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 they want game too. Every dude that messed with uh, Kim K, they wanted Chris Humphreys. Six foot 10, biracial, curly hair, pretty boy. What was, was Chris Humphreys biracial or white? One of them jawbone, cleft chin white boys. <laughs> Fucking jawbone, cleft chin white boy. Shout out to Chris Humphreys. But that's it, gentlemen. 
That's why black women are out here in hyperdrive and insecure about black men's preferences because of the life of Kim Kardashian. And that's why you see all black women now for the last 10 years trying to emulate Kim Kardashian to get to the top, but have not had her success because they do not have her mother or her sisters. <laughs> yeah. So, gentlemen, now you know. Don't say I didn't tell you. Don't say you didn't get it from Bunker TV. Exactly. The source of black women's runaway insecurities about black men's preferences. Best example is Kim Kardashian. And what the entertainers and the athletes are doing. They don't care what regular black men are doing. Because in their eyes, we ain't got shit. Bunker TV. for me um years ago i was real big and it's all good it's all good it really is but today i just feel like this beef is going so far i really agree with Sinji. we should just stop having black males why should we have our enemies What's the purpose of doing that?